all this sir yes sir in submission we need to submit in first week week one uh, no there's a uh, third of third week uh, this thing is there na no? third week is one second week uh, second, uh, second week third week is there this one sir second week second week and the second week you have assignment option sir i submitted in first week i check that i saw that so don't worry for this week i'll check that also so from uh, now onwards i'll uh, make sure like i'll deactivate that so you can have access to whatever you are doing that week only to so access to that only so there won't be any confusion okay, okay sir. i'll deactivate that okay so uh, like this is something uh, like exporting for unreal like i've just blocked out i used a bend rotated this and checked it this is just for checking i have created the entire scene just to check everything is working properly then i am going to export all the parts separately in uh, like in engine and place it together nicely so to keep it simple i'll uh, what i'll do is i'll split it into parts or i can just simply uh, do what i can do is i'll just hide this section this is now so i need sir how to duplicate that in the shape how to duplicate i have created this entire section in a straight okay that curve shape uh, for the curve up. i will use bend bend option bend modifier you have bend modifier in my uh, max Right? Yes, sir. Yes. You know what? Right, should I show it? Sir, it will not collide with other objects. No, it won't collide. Reason being, it won't collide is. One second, I show, sir. Uh, because sorry, one second. Huh. Second, I show. In, in, in between, we have a line. This thing. It's just a simple. It won't collide. If you have a cylinder, suppose. Sir, for single object means it will come. In, in inside this, it has multiple objects. That's why. The multiple objects also. If you zoom in, you can see. Um. Okay. I'll just show you this bended uh, part only. Then you can see. It. Take one portion and do uh, it. Yeah, that's what. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Inside, it's a subtle blend. A uh, bend. It's not like huge bend. So that I can see. You can see these are all the pipes are almost straight. In between, they have one cut, one cut, one cut. Somewhere they have two cuts. Somewhere they don't have any cuts. So those will be straight only. There won't be any bend. Only this uh, outer surface is bending slightly. And you can see if I okay, just give me. If I hide all these things, you can see. This bend is not too uh, like uh, like it's not too strong. It's subtle blend bend, so by around yes. like around fifteen twenty degree bend. So that is something is non noticeable. So if there is a subtle deformation also in your model, you can see if you check there is subtle deformation. You can see this right. So yeah. when you running or walking, that time it won't be visible. Okay. That time it won't be visible. So that's why like subtle. Uh, that's why you can see center. I I kept a cut. That's why, so that it can squeeze and bend nicely. That's why I kept that thing. So, and even uh, like uh, if I want, if you need a smooth transition, you can add more loops here. More loops here, so it will become, it will give you really nice and clean, smooth bend. So, uh, because for gaming, we have to keep everything uh, optimized. I didn't add this. You can see this like pipe is solid pipe. It's a straight pipe. There's no third change. So, do those kind of things you can keep. If I want, I can remove this center line. This center line, I can remove that, and rest everything works perfectly. It's what I did basically. So uh, this file I have already saved. So now uh, for exporting, like for uh, now you have to export this and check everything works in your Unreal. So first thing, what I do. I'll export the entire scene and check my scale. So have to uh, do it multiple times. So don't worry about that. What I am doing, so selected. I'll go to PC. Uh, scale is okay. That's 
Yes, this is just to check the size. So uh, keep it default, doesn't matter. Keep it default only. Export it as FBX. Because FBX supports your smoothing group and everything. So export it as FBX. Once you're done with that, open your unreal. So I'll import and check the scale. If the scale is correct, I'll uh, then I'll start exporting multiple parts, separate separate parts, and uh, like check it in Unreal. Is it working or not? Yes. Sir, yesterday I mailed you my assignment. Hi, I received it. Sir, I didn't knew about submitting in Moodle. Right. Okay. I, so this is first week, so it's fine. So like, make sure uh, from next week submit in Moodle and uh, like if the file size is over 100 MB because the Moodle uh, limit is 100 MB right now. So, Sir, so it can, uh, uploaded there also. No, it's fine, it's fine. Like for this week, it's fine. If you upload it there, then it will be nice because today I'm going to check it. So yesterday there's some literacy issue, I couldn't check it or anything. So I'll check it today and um, I'll submit the uh, like, uh, result and everything, all uh, remarks, everything there only. So you can yeah. get it there. That will be easy. Like it will be convenient for you also. So yeah. in week two, we have to upload this week. Week three, week, week two is there, there's assignment. Week three is assignment. Uh, you can upload it there. Week two. Week two. Week two. Yeah, okay. week two. This is like something I was testing out, like previous this thing, a basic block or initially I was created. I was testing it out. So I just simply say name blocking only. So I can, if I want, I can keep it like this. So I can use a empty or new anything, or I can just simply could have replaced that only. That would be nice. Okay. 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 Yeah. Here you can see, like I was testing out initially two things. One nine three, sorry, one nine three. Now need to import that entire mode. And uh, I have created this model in actual scale, so I won't convert it. So I'll just check it if it works perfectly. Then otherwise, I'll convert it. Import all.
loading. Oh, normal is like, because there's no normal, nothing is there. That's fine. It's, that means, I guess, uh, scale is correct. Let me check. Yeah. Make sure location is 0, 0, 0. It's our grid. That will be correct. Switch on this page collision. This is like quite intense model. I'll just check it. Okay, so this thing is ready. Check. Just in this. That's my character. Let me see. My scale is correct. You can see my scale is correct. It works for me. Works for me. Uh, and this thing. Okay, I need to change. You can see there's some gaps in the pipe. Now there's something anyways I was checking. And things works. Okay, it works. So scale is correct. So that is something. One thing is clear. And this bend, uh, this bend works properly. I can walk through. There's no deformation. I can see as such. deformation as such it looks clean only so now i'll go back to my uh, max file and start because uh, uh, like ex exporting the entire model you can uh, say like uh, if this entire thing is working why we're going to export everything into separate separate parts and bring a within unreal and then build the entire model right you can definitely you can ask that thing so i'll show you like uh, So right now, this model, if you see, this model is 59.4 MB, right? So that, that, that means the entire scene is loaded in my GPU and RAM, right? Everything is like cached out, like everything is like they uh, like loaded, basically. So if I split this part into multiple small, small parts, it will be around 10 MB or something. 10, maximum 10 MB or maybe 11, 12 MB. So it will save a lot of memory there. So it will be very easy for us to control and system like FPS and all this thing uh, will switch on later. So you can see you will see that everything will work properly and this thing that's jittering only. So the scale works for me. Scale is correct, so I'm happy with that. So I'll just go uh, to my Mac and show you how to prepare your file for. Exporting. That is something I exp explained previously also, but, I, but I'll explain once again. Uh, scale is correct, and now I see my grid. Where is my grid? You can see my grid is there. So either I can export any one of the section or I can export the entire section. Right? So, uh, as of now, I'll try to either I can just export everything separate, separate, or I can export everything together. So, first thing first, what I need to do is select this area, delete. 
I'll save this file. Save as. I'll name it as for UE4. Like because this is something I'm going to. I'm preparing for uh, for Unreal. Like how to prepare a file for exporting in Unreal. So just in between things are not required. You see the turbine. I this this thing I need. So, what I, I am planning is, I believe this. What I am planning, I'll keep one, two, three. The three sections are, or maybe I can keep uh, one and two. Or I can keep this separate also. That is something I can do it very easily. Not required. Delete. 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 From here, I need to delete things. These are all these things are unnecessary. Now, in the center, I have a unique piece. This is a separate unique piece altogether. This part I can export separately. Then, you can see here, I can use this part only. Delete the rest of them. All these things are not required. Something part of just the same thing extended. So, what I'll do is, as of now, I'll keep it simple and there only. The grid point is there. So I'll just simply I'll just, I'll just simply um, group it with one and move it somewhere. So then I can later. Group so I cannot reset. I selection. In this section, I'll bring it here. So, whenever you're going to export any modular piece, the placement of the modular piece on the grid is very important. Where are you going to place it? That is something is very important. So, I can see this half part is not required. So I can simply delete this half section. Delete. 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 So half section is deleted. Now we have these three pieces. Initially we created these three pieces. That we came back to that exact same three pieces again. So this is what we have to create. So now either I can export these three pieces all together or I can just simply export one section at a time. So I can do that. So what I'll do is uh, for my easy convenience, for my convenience, I'll move it on the grid.
snap pivot point switch on your uh, sorry switch on your vertex snap it's already on snapping to this point correct now switch on your grid point no vertex and snap Map this to center. This vertex. From here, you are going to symmetry the model. So that's why this symmetry, this point is very important. This point is very, very, very important. So make sure you select, uh, create it like this. This uh, start from your x, y, z zero, and then now you can export this all three together. So we can create this thing very easily. So and we, if you want, we can uh, like uh, create this entire uh, like tunnel very easily, like this. And but you can see the center part is not symmetrical. So the center grills and upper uh, this grill, this two grills are not symmetrical, not symmetrical. So what we have to do is uh, like I have to export these grills separately. This these two are exactly same, exactly same. So Switch off the snapping grid like this. The skills are not required. Delete. Then these double double grids are not required. Only one part is good enough. One part is good enough. Then that's something I can do very easily. First, this one part. So this part I have to export separately, and this rest of the part I have to export separately. So for this, I have to move it here on the base zero zero grid. You can snap it on the like you can grid snap it. You can snap it there very easily. It's snap. So this is this will be my one part. So I export this. Export selected. Close on net or mesh or anything, and name everything properly. Height selection. Then. We have all three parts. So as of now, what I'm planning, so like just to make my work faster, uh, either I can export only this section and this section separately. I guess that will be a nice thing to do. Okay, I'll do that only. So I select this entire section except this pipe. Reason being, this pipe is repeating lots of areas separately and except this. Light. Okay, I need to attach this. Attach. This is my light. I'll name it. Four. Light. Name it properly. So first one without light. I click height selection because one section we can see same thing repeating without light. Then we have another section, and in, if you check the reference properly, there's one more part exactly same without the light, the flat base. So that's why to create three variation, I'm putting it like this. So first thing first. Uh, okay, this what what I can do. Easiest way will be um, hide this. Select everything. Uh, deselect that one. And make sure select everything properly. All the parts.
select everything properly. Don't select anything. Everything is selected. Try moving and checking. Okay, correct. So everything is selected. It's in the corner grid. You can see. So I can simulate very easily. Export selected. So this is my uh, the tile size, right? So uh, I can name it as like usually naming convention. Like how we name. Uh, so how we name is like uh, name is model, right? Mesh material also a map basically. So M underscore underscore. This is my side wall. Side wall underscore zero one. Like this is how we I don't like to name everything properly in Indus. This is a standard practice. M for model. M A T mat for uh, material and T for texture. This is how we identify everything and name everything properly. So uh, side wall one. This is my one wall because I we are going to have multiple walls. Export, save, export. Then right click, hide selection. Then we have this one. For this we have to. Change the hierarchy. Everything. Switch on uh, your snap. Right click vertex. Vertex and grid both. Why I'm switching on vertex and grid? You see, so the center. Then we have grid. Grid is on. Center. It's perfectly on the grid, but it should be above the grid always, no matter what. Yeah. Go back to modifier, snap to grid. It's above grid now. So make sure, and if you want, you can move it on one side or you can keep it in the center. It's fine. If you export it like this, we'll get the pivot point here in the center. So it's snapping for you will become very easy. Otherwise, snapping will become very difficult in ma in un uh, Unreal. Sir, you have kept each uh, separate UV. Each uh, what thing? Which for this part? Uh, this. Uh, that. Uh, this. Uh, for this part, this is a separate UV. You have to keep a separate UV for this. Uh, otherwise, we will like this for modular pieces. I, I told you, no. For modular piece, one modular piece, one individual texture, right? That's the basic thumb rule. Use that technique. Don't mess up uh, with that. Like whatever I'm saying, just stick to those things. Don't do not try to modify those things. It's uh, it's like this only. Entire industry use this technique. So uh, make sure it's uh, like one uh, one modular piece, one individual texture, right? So that you can increase the texture, decrease the texture, you can modify the texture very easily. It becomes easy. Cool. Yeah. Remaining parts. Yes. That side walls we have three of them. No? Yes. I'll export them one by one. Uh, M underscore. Uh, this is my some the orange pipe. Now. E E underscore zero one. So always name things very uh, uh, like properly so that you can by the name of that only you can understand what is this that particular part. Name it properly and click hide selection. Now, in this section, one thing I uh, only uh, two different things from my uh, other model. The other part I have exported from that is hide selection. Yeah. 
that part anyway is not visible. So please, please don't see. Doesn't matter. So I have deleted all the extra unnecessary parts. So now we have. This section. This is the own uh, hard, like solid part. So we can create this. So we'll just simply combine it, attach it properly. Attach, attach it. So we can keep it separate section only, only for this section. You can see pivot point is correct. Pivot point is absolutely correct, but only problem is. It's here, so that is something we have to fix. So, uh, so we have to move this entire model. Snapping is on. I'll try to snap to any of the corner so that I can fix this thing very easily. Then. Move it to the grid. Snap, right? On the grid, I will grid everything. Perfect. Export selected. Name it properly. This is my some bent pipe or something. Underscore zero one. So zero one means one piece. If you have a uh, another variation, you can name it zero two zero three. So I'm uh, like usually uh, in industry you name it like this so that if you in case in future you want to modify something or you want to create a version, that time you can name it as a zero one zero two zero three zero four very easily. It becomes very uh, like convenient. And even uh, like suppose once you uh, like you are working on this file because one individual person doesn't work on uh, all the files. So uh, suppose your file goes to some other artist, that time it becomes easy for him to understand what is it. So naming convention is very important. Name it properly. Hide selection. So now I have this entire box. So in this case, I can do two things. Either I can export this entire box together, or I can export. Uh, like uh, anyways, I have to export this entire box. Uh, only. This is like quite dense. I have to optimize this anyway. So this entire section as one, I can export, or and uh, or I can combine these uh, shells with this and export it. But I won't do that because I'm going to optimize this thing entire as seen. Bit point snapping is on corner, and there has a supporting loop. That is something I'm going to remove. Like this is something. Uh, like I was uh, uh, trying to like create a, this a smooth surface, so I added uh, supporting loops and all. That is something I'll do. So as of now, I'll keep it like this. But I'll I'll update it. I'll change it. Make sure snap on the grid perfectly. Now export selected. This is my again naming properly. This is uh, like container or something. Name it. I selection and save the file. Now I don't need all these shells. I just need one. So when you uh, need only an only one, and you're going to repeat this thing multiple times, what I'm going to do is here. Rotate this thing. 
साइड देख लें नाउ गो बैक टू मॉडिफायर स्नैप ऑन द्रेड सो आई कैन सी दिस ग्रेड दिस पॉइंट इज नॉट करेक्ट so and simply i can uh, align this thing to this point to this here and then do it very easily and you can see it's like slightly tilted so that means it's wrong i have to fix this like like maybe when i created and proper placement maybe i have to tilted it slightly that time some error happened so those things i have to keep in mind some error happens so i have to fix it there i have to check and see if there's supporting loops and to read those things unnecessary unwanted loop or can you see it's slightly beveled only right i can if i want i can keep it also so before the before exporting then what i have to do is i have to make sure everything is perfect all line everything is perfectly straight and i guess I, maybe i have applied a bend because of that slightly tilted that is also possible you can see like how carefully i'm like uh, everything i'm making sure like it's straight and everything like in the or the grid that is something you have to be that precise there's no room for error basically Okay, anyways, that will clean later. So once you're done with this perspective, make sure it's on the center. Great, everything is fine. I'm not changing any any this thing. Both uh, both selected, same thing. Shell, and let's go zero one because for this shell, I'm going to create at least two different textures. so because there are lots of uh, shells together just to create variation this and one more part hide this one this part is exactly the same if i want i can delete this delete this now i have this light I could have kept that light only. This will be nice. Oh, light! I guess I have exported, right? No, I haven't. Light is there. This light, delete. And it's a, you can see, it's a time-consuming process, and there is something no, there is no uh, other way to do it. Like you have to make sure. It's perfectly aligned. Everything on the surface. If you want to snap it, any of the corner, and snap it back to the grid properly. Don't worry about that thing. It's 
this should be on the grid as the only thing selected light lamp or anything like anything that is that uh, uh, like understandable and then you have this one that in top the object Snapping is on. Continue. This uh, motor or turbine or something. This is again exhaust, I guess. So, like basic, basic, you can see. Motorati, I have exported most of the part. That bend part is still remaining. Those like wires and all those things are still remaining. I haven't exported the, those things. Then we'll go to Unreal. So, as of now, it was all like a, I, I was doing just for checking and everything. It's random. So now for proper, I'll create a folder. Name it mesh. Another folder. Oh sorry. Another folder. Textures. Then one more folder, mesh texture and materials. Materials. So uh, this is something you can like uh, forget about this thing. Doesn't matter. Then go to mesh and now start importing all your mesh. So uh, what I'll do, I'll go and select all my mesh m underscore all those things, only and only those things. Drop it. So, scene. Uh, this converter is not required. Keep everything. Uh, like combine mesh. Mesh should be combined. Uh, generate your uh, material and everything, and fine. Uh, import all. Everything is imported. Just see, there's no error. So, everything is imported, and everything right now is using only one material. But we have individual assets, so we can create multiple materials very easily, and and apply to them. So now we have all these materials on all these maps. So I'll just go. So forget about this one. This is something nicely done. Delete. Bring it here. Zero zero. Yes. See, you have this entire scene, and now you can see you have this section. This uh, uh, like you can snap it very easily. Press Alt and you can drag it. But you can see it's not snapping. Reason we have to switch on the grid snap. Alt snaps perfectly without any issue. One more time. If you want to Alt snaps one more time. Select all three. Alt, move it here. Right click. Transform X symmetry. Snap. See, your tunnel base is almost ready. So similarly, you have to apply, uh, import each and everything here. All those your uh, grills and all those uh, mesh and all, and with uh, your motor, vent, and everything. And please, and they like because initially before uh, texturing, just when you model it, place there those things there. Then you can just simply start.
texting and update your text quickly. So it makes your life very easy and you can do things very uh, quickly. Sir, so, yes. Sir, I have doubt in my model. Okay, tell me. Can I present this? Yes, sir. By the time I take it, I will take it. So this base bag can I make in ZBrush and then I need to retopo or how to do it? Yes, uh, this thing you have to retopo and bake or everything you have to do. For game, you have to retopo. There is no other way. Uh, uh, so you have to retopo, create a really low poly and then you can uh, sculpt all the detail and bake all the information on the surface and then touch it. No sir, first I need to uh, make high poly or low poly. Uh, like it depends. Like you, for, you can create a, either you can create a base low poly and take it to the ZBrush and uh, sub don't dynamic only subdivide and sculpt it. Then okay. reduce the di reduce all the dynamic. Go back to your one dynamic and export the lowest division. So that will be your final low poly model. Okay. So it will snap to your high poly perfectly. So whatever deformation you are adding to your high poly, it will automatically uh, like deform your low poly also. Right. Okay. So you can use the lowest version as a low poly and use the highest version for baking. Okay, sir. So and then, uh, I, then, sir, this broomstick, how to make this fibers? Or I need to take a plane or I need to add a. Uh, for uh, usually for this kind of broom, uh, like usually uh, what we use, uh, you can use the fiber mesh and create cylinders, or you can create multiple cylinders or pipes and uh, place it there and then create that thing. Okay. So this kind of bundle of papers, I need to take only one box or only one box. Yes, only one section. Then you can just simply duplicate and repeat it until let's say unless it's a, like a unique uh, asset. It's a unique. Asset. So if it's no, it's a unique asset. So like suppose it's repeating. The top part and base part is uh, not exactly the same. It's uh, entirely it's a one a single solid or solid model. You can just create that okay. the entire section. It's a box model, right? You can create that and use it. Okay. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Huh? And okay. I'll import all the all the assets. Uh, try to import everything in uh, Unreal. Uh, I won't set up that bend thing. I'll, I'll show you how to create that bend in Unreal. Uh, so that we will do in class. And the rest of the assets you can see it's very simple. They directly import and place it there. That's it. There's nothing uh, like uh, special about that. So that is something I'll do. And uh, the bend thing, I'll show that how to create that bend thing in Unreal. So such and then that. that reference. Which reference? Like that uh, we're creating. If you want this reference, this is something is already there in this uh, Google Drive folder. Uh, it's already there in the Google Drive folder. Uh, so you can use that. Uh, or if you want, I can mail it. Uh, mail it also. That's okay. Fine. It's Google Drive environment uh, two. It's there. Like that folder. It's there. I have created the folder. It's already there. Okay. I'll see you guys.